Tyler with Tyler Dragon Taro. Thank you for being here. Um, sorry, I'm trying to adjust the camera right. Um, sorry, I'm, I haven't posted a video in, I think it's been like a week and a half or something. Um, I've just been really busy, but, so I'm going to do a all signs video again, and then if I, I'm still really busy, if I have the time, I'm going to try to get all the zodiac signs in again, but I figured, you know, I can still get y'all in real fast with this reading. I still get a reading in for you guys. It's just not like a whole individual radio. <laughs> radio. <laughs> Y'all don't get your own radios. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right. So let's get into it. We're going to be doing Aries first. So Aries, what's going on with you? Hopefully everything's good. I like to do positive readings, but, you know, I'll try to get you advice if there's something negative. Mm, I'm going to take them all. I usually don't like to take all, all the poppers at once when they pop out like that and say pop one at a time, but, okay, which one is the overall, I feel like it's you. The world. That's a big overall. <laughs> um, okay, so next I feel like we got five of pairs. Or Earth. Okay. So we got the world here. Here's your overall. Um, with all these butterflies, the animals here, it it's just like you're coming into your power with that, especially with that tiger. I just hear eye of the tiger. Um, with the butterflies, you come out of your cocoon, you've evolved, you're a different person than you used to be. Um, you've grown, you've come into your power, and it's that face is like, bitch, you better be on my level. If you ain't on my level, then what the fuck you doing here? You know what I'm saying? Sorry, guys. I cuss when I get passionate. And especially with fire signs, they tend to get a little passionate. Um, <laughs> um, so hopefully you guys don't mind that. Um, anyway, I'm going to go back to the reading, just the disclosure. Um but yeah, it's just like, what the fuck you doing here? Um, like, like I've grown. Now you can head in my direction, or you can go somewhere else. Like, it's really just the attitude her face has in this card. Because it's like, I've sat there and painted roses. It's time for some real damn roses. I, I don't need this toxicity, all that smog in the background. I don't need to sit there and be, like, angry and just trying to make my happiness. I need some happiness. And that's what I deserve is really what I'm getting off of this. And that four of verse there. <laughs> it's just like, you're looking for your frog. It's like, I'll kiss a frog for a damn prince here. All right. I'll kiss a frog. Like, <laughs> it's okay if you, I'm just saying, it's okay if you need a little work. It's okay. As long as you do the work and get on my level. It's not like you're just going to be like, you're not on my level. <laughs> but it, it's kind of like a, okay, I kind of like that. Are you willing to get on my level? You know what I mean? Like, okay, I. it's kind of like a, you see the diamond in the rough and it's like you're willing to do the work uh, to get to the diamond. And it's like, <laughs> I'm just hearing, like, for now, it's my frog. And it's just like, y'all better back the fuck off. I'm doing the work on this frog. And I just have this sense of, like, I better not take you from a frog to a prince. And then you um, just leave when you think, oh, I got on this fucking level. Because <laughs> with this eight of earth, it's just like... I'm trying to create something out of this world here, and, uh, like, I'm on this level. Once you get here, don't you start. And that doesn't even have to really relate to that, but it's just really just, there's a real sense of, like, I just want to be fucking happy. 
I just want to be happy. That's all I want. Please. Sorry, let me see. There you go. You can see your cards better now. See, I'm, I'm talking about this one. Here. There's a real sense of I just want to be happy. I just want to be happy. And I'm sitting here trying to create this thing. And don't don't try to take that away from me. You know? There's a real sense of that. Oh, man. Okay. Uh, I just got a sense I want to pull from this deck, too. All right. Let's see. Might push some decks up because apparently these might be bears today. I only have like 15 decks. That's all right. They all talk to me, so we're friends. <laughs> okay. Hopefully y'all like vampires. There we go. We got this card in it. I feel like this is just a reminder to... I feel like when someone's showing you can you've I, I'm getting a sense that you've been the person to show compassion so much that you're kind of switching that off. Um in the hopes that someone else will show you to you and that's part of that level thing. It's like I once you need to get on my level, you need to show me some love. I'm not gonna show my shit to somebody who's just not gonna appreciate me. Well, don't just be standing and laying there limp um, when someone's trying to show you some goddamn compassion. Appreciate what's given to you, you know what I mean? Um, be kind. Be, and, 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 you know, the empathy just really stuck out. Like, there's going to be days when that person's feeling dead and you might have to carry them. There's going to be days when you're feeling dead and they're going to have to carry you. Let them carry you. I, I really got that sense because, you know, you're the Aries. You want to be strong. You want to be bam, 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 bam. You know what I'm saying? You just, you don't want to be carried. But sometimes you're just going to have to be like, okay, I need some damn help. <laughs> Please. <laughs> and if they're not willing to carry you, you just ram them out of your life. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right. Let's. With that misfit loner. I just feel like that's more of you creating your own world there. Outside of the norms. Stuff that uh, people feel deem unrealistic. But you're like, fuck it. I, I'm going to this next level here. I, I just really get the sense of next level here. And it's like, you know what? Maybe it's unrealistic for you. Don't tell me how to live my fucking life. I, I really get that sense of that. Like, I, like okay. Like... I, her face is just like a watch me face. Watch me. And it's just like you're sitting there with your little orb like, mm -hmm, watch me. This is my orb. Don't try to take it when it's done. I, I really got this sense of, it, it keeps me being like, I'm going to put in this work and don't try to ruin it for me when it's done because y'all are going to get jealous as fuck. <laughs> so, yeah, it's, oh, okay. Yeah, so with this card, I'm just getting like, let go of the past. Don't hold on to it. Like, you're definitely pissed off about something in the past because, you know, like I said, you're moving on. You're getting higher. You're tired of, like this card, you're tired of painting those damn roses and being in that toxic situation. So it's time to let go of the past and get free of those grips because it's still bugging you. Honestly, that card looks like you need a damn good cry. And I know... As an Aries, you just want to move on, move on, move on, move forward, move forward. And you don't want anyone to show you. You don't want anyone to see that damn weakness. Well, just get in a corner. Don't let anyone see it and just let that shit out. Or, you know what? Honestly, what feels better than crying is I'm an Aries too. So, honestly, this feels better to me is get yourself a damn punching bag or um, some weights. And go to fucking town. But uh, be careful with that shit. Because <laughs> when you're really frustrated and just getting that out, yeah, you should probably moderate that. <laughs> I've gone too long and been sore as hell um, uh, for a couple days. And it's like, oh, no wonder I can't get on a consistent schedule. Because when I actually do, I'm getting frustrations out. And then I'll end up going like forever. 
uh, beating up a punch bag or something. But oh my god, it feels good. So you know, Aries, the uh, that's a good way to get frustration out, especially for a fellow fire sign. Um, I'm just saying that is a great way, and I know it. It, it was on a little handout for Aries. Um, okay, so her last day in the light. Expect shit to change. Um, yeah, unexpected surprise change and sudden shifts. Yeah, your sunshine's coming. Sunshine and lollipops, they are coming. So, I'm just hearing enjoy the happiness, enjoy the little moments. Don't worry about it. You got this. You got this, boo. All right, <clears throat> we're gonna move on to Taurus. This feels like it's gonna be a long video, but that's all right. You know, that's all right. All right, so we're gonna be to Taurus. You know, I really like this thing. I'm going to keep using it. All right, Taurus. Well, that card just popped right on out. All right. The sun. That one is just like... It almost feels like you're doing too many things here because she has so many hands. Like, she's playing the guitar and all that. And she's got her little knife. She's... It looks like she's got money in her hand. She's got her little peacock cuddle in her. But she's happy. Eh. It's like you got a lot of balls in the air right now, but you're happy. And that blue skin, I, I think that's a deity, but like it reminds me of a rebirth card in one of the, my decks. And it's like, it took you a while to get here, is what I'm getting from that card, just because that really popped up. It took you a while to get here. It took you a while to get to where you could be happy. But now that you're happy, it's just, like, really genuine and just, like, you're having your day in the sun. Um, okay. So, let's see. What else is up with you, Taurus? What else is up? What? So, what's making you so happy? Let, I mean, it's probably different for every Taurus, but you found your happiness. That's good. <laughs> You know, that's funny that I said it's probably different for every tourist. Look what you got here. Uh, you got the un unexpected. That's real general, right? Well, uh, oh, okay, sorry. So, if you notice here, we got an eye in the middle of that jar. So, it's the un unexpected. I, I kind of get this feel of you didn't know they had your their eye on you. And that's why it was unexpected. And you know, that could be job-related, like a sudden promotion, and you're like, what? Yeah, I, I didn't even know y'all were looking at me for that. Um, that could be a love interest. That could be, you know, whatever. So let's let's get another card. Let's get another card. Whatever it is, I mean, <laughs> you're fucking happy. That's good. All right. The Scorpion of Waters. Okay. Sorry, and you know, I'm trying to get a different meaning off of this card, but every time I see that card, I just think of the scorpion. They strike real fast. They strike first. Okay, well, I was going to say usually that's in revenge, but it's like maybe you struck first. That that doesn't have to be like, and you struck fast, uh, or it could be whatever this is. Uh, you jumped on the opportunity. It doesn't have to, and it happened like really fast. I guess I was thinking like revenge there, like be careful not to hit a cactus because you'll get thorns usually kind of thing. But then uh, as I was talking, the strike fast just really, I did because I didn't really get like a revenge type vibe off of this. So like that makes more sense. Like you just struck fast. That's what it was. Um, and it was really intense because scorpions tend to be, or Scorpios tend to be intense. So... So, like, you went after something, or someone went after you. And that card wanted to come out. The waters. Four waters. Oh my gosh. I'm just hearing you found your voice because uh, this light blue color, it's related to the throat chakra and uh, butterflies, you know, they go from worms to, into a cocoon and then they evolve into the butterfly. Well, you came out of the cocoon, you become this butterfly with the blue, so it's like you learn how to use your voice or 
some of it's even a little bit darker blue, so, I mean, I think it's more of a purpley color, but some of it's kind of blue, so it could even be, like, a little third eye chakra stuff, like, um, you're more intuitive kind of thing. But I, I'm kind of getting that voice, but... Yeah, there's just a... I think you... I don't think you were the one that, um... Okay, I feel like this could be either way, but someone was waiting on this strike. Like, they were just sitting there, your move. Yeah, there's they're just a real, your move. Like, I'm waiting. Like, either you knew you wanted this, or they knew they wanted you. And they were just waiting for you to strike. And once you struck, it was like... So, and with waters here, it might be, I'm kind of starting to feel like it might be emotional, just because, you know, waters, emotions, but, and with two of fire's passion here, um, I just heard growth and new ideas here, so, uh, So they're bringing new life to you. Um, so whatever the situation is, it's bringing new life to you, which is really good. So if you're not already here, something, you're either the person waiting on something and it's like, uh, I'm expected you didn't even know this is going to happen. And it's just going to, or you're going to be the one acting. Or, you know, you're already here and you're just enjoying your day in the sun and good for you. But, okay. With this card, hmm, what am I getting up? Oh, sorry, I had to look at that for a second. Um, so with that, with them going through, her going through the skull here, and it says, listen to advice, think clearly, intellect, you're going to have to, don't assume you know everything. Don't assume that you're good. Don't assume, sorry, I just, I couldn't remember if I wrote down your start time. Uh -huh. Don't assume that you know all there is to know about what is going on with this, because this is unexpected. So... I feel like you should, this is something that's going to confuse you. This is something that you're unclear about. So get advice from somebody who has been through this situation already. So that, I feel like that's a very big part of it because with her gray hair there, it's like gray is usually associated, associated, associated with, um, unclear and all that it could just be age but um you seeking the wisdom of someone who's been through it who's aged into that type of role but um but you're unclear about what to do in here or you don't really know you're unsure about some of this i mean it was unexpected so you're just surprised by it so getting advice is is good for you especially through someone who's already been through this stuff <laughs> This card came up from Aries. You might be dealing with an Aries. <laughs> Maybe. Sorry, I'm going through allergies. My nose is itching like crazy. Um, those green eyes. Man, uh, those really stuck out to me. So it's like, I feel like whoever's coming in here is really shaking things up for you, but in a good way. Like those... Just really pure green eyes there. Just, they make, I just heard healing just like that. Like, just being with them, just looking in their eyes, just make it, like, just makes you breathe easy and your heart just goes, okay. Yeah. <laughs> you know, there's a lot of passion for them. And it's like the storms are moving away here because you can see the storms are on the outside of it. It's just like, Hey, let's create something here. Um, yeah, 
you know, this does flaws, mistakes, blah, 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 but I feel like this is more of you're getting a unicorn here. Like, you're getting someone unique, someone a little weird. I'm starting to feel like this is a relationship. Someone a little weird, but I feel like you're going to like that. Like, someone just outside the norm. So just be, I feel like you might be weird too. So just, you know, weird is fun. <laughs> you know, just appreciate the weird. Um, they don't make unicorns every day. In fact, you have to, you have to really look for them. So uh, I feel like you just, I mean, I feel like you're going to, I mean, look at her. She's smiling a little bit. She's, she's like, this is my unicorn, like petting the horn there. Like, don't let it die. <laughs> like that that's all there's a skull there. It's like, don't let it die. You know? Sorry, something else came to mind and, and um sorry if this is a little explicit for you, but she's really petting that and I'm just gonna say it's a little phallic shape and it makes me think like appreciate more than just the sex. Um, that message just popped right in my head, so it's either appreciate or that you're, it's going to be good sex. I don't know. That message popped in my head. I've been getting a lot of, like, sexual messages with this, uh, I got a red candle burning, um, so it's a lot of passion and power and stuff like that. Um, <laughs> so that's been fun, but, um, sorry if that was a little much, but that was the last little bit of it. Hopefully... But you guys are getting your day in the sun, so good for you guys. Let's see. Gemini is next. 21. 15. Everyone's getting pretty long reels. Whatever. I'm going to be in here in a minute. Ooh. Got some hard. <laughs> I just started getting impatient with that because you got the Aries and I was like, what is that? And um, Aries are really impatient and um, along with other things, like there's a lot of good things with them, but that's one of their flaws and I'm an Aries, I can say that. <laughs> but I also have a Gemini um, in me. So I was kind of like, oh, maybe it's for Aries with Gemini in them or Gemini with Aries in them. But I shouldn't be so... I, I got detached from the, the anyway, I'm over explaining. Um, little symbol on her arm. Um, okay, so when Aries, when you actually get in with an Aries, they attach a very strong bond with someone. Some people don't believe in me when I say that. But if you become important to an Aries, they pretty much do anything for you. Um, and you're either this type of person or you're with someone like that. Because that, there's someone, there's a lot of passion in this card. And I, I'm really feeling that, especially with that tattoo on the arm. It's like, I'll be there for you. Whenever you need me, whatever you need. Um, see the little Aries symbol on the arm um, it's like I got you boo that, that's the real feeling off of that four airs huh? with that it, you know the four is uh, the emperor in the deck and you know we got the Aries here and I'm just saying it's stability and trusting the intuition this is someone you can trust just and it's just Okay, I just heard don't abuse that trust. Like, don't do them dirty. Don't, don't do them dirty because this is someone who, okay, it's a little extreme, but I'm going to say it because it popped in my head. This is someone who's going to die for you, who uh, they will literally do whatever for you. And this could be you. Like, I, I'm going off energies and stuff, so could be vice versa. Um, you know, but this is someone who's very passionate about you. This could be a friend, family. This could be a lover. But this is someone who's got your back. And I feel like this card is saying, you know that intuitively, don't do them dirty. 
I wasn't getting that at first, and then that popped in my head, so it's like, like, if you don't want to be with them, don't be with them, but don't do them dirty. Archer of Fire here. So that's a Sagittarius, too. You got a lot of fire on the table, a lot of fire. So that could be a lot of passion, but, but um, you know, it's funny. I just saw, um, you know, now that they're on the side, it's like you're stuck between two people trying to decide who you want. Who do you want to be? Who do you want to be, Gemini? Who do you want to be? I, I'm getting that now. Okay, so with the Aries, there's like this commitment. There's this offer of flowers. There's this, um, there's just this like, I die for you. Like, you need me? You need me? I'll kick some ass. Like, what's up? There's this, like, once you get in good, like, it's this, overwhelming loving feeling and then there's this other side that's like I need some fucking freedom I need some space to run because Sagittarius um from the I ain't gonna lie I know more about Gemini and Aries because those are my signs than the others but from what I've read about Sagittarius they're more of a freedom sign they're more of a it's not that they won't love, but they need their space. So it's like you're trying to find the balance between the high, high loving, high energy, high passion, high like boom, 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 like I'm here for you, boom, person, and the like I'm gonna do what I want, person. So it's like you're trying to find where you are in between that, and. It's almost like you got one twin that's one and you got one twin that's the other. <laughs> okay, we got the star. That is a sign of Aquarius since I'm saying everything else, but these are more like straight up, like, hey, that's the sign. But, um, well, I wasn't... Yeah, I feel like you're just, you're trying to find your balance because you've been too passionate before, you jumped into hard before, and you just got your heart broke, so you're just, you want this, but because of the heartbreak, you tend to want the freedom, and you're just like, it's almost like you need, there's almost a feeling of, I need, if I know, this isn't going to happen, and I get everything I want, I'm going to be there. Like, for sure. Damn straight. You know what? We're going to pull. Yeah, because it's like, okay, I know this changed mid-reading, but I think this is where I'm sticking with it. This card is being like, I need to know where you are. And, and it's almost like you need to trust intuitively where you need to be with if you're single, where you need to be with new relationships, where you need, or if you're with a person, where you need to be with that person, do you need to have your freedom? Because they might lead to heartbreak, or are they everything you want, so you're okay putting all your efforts into this relationship and being like, hey. But I would say even putting, there is a balance in there in between, like you don't have to boom, 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 everything, like you can have a little bit of freedom. You know, because it seems like you desire both. You desire that passionate, just loving, boom, relationship. But you also want your freedom to do what you want. So.
prime. So we got this primal. So it's just like, I just said, bitch, where are you at? What you want? <laughs> so you need to do what you're good at and communicate. All right. You need to do what you're good at and communicate. And you need to communicate with yourself, too. You need to figure out what you want. Where do you want to be? You need to get some advice on this situation. From someone who's already dealt... There's probably someone in your life, uh, you know, parents. We tend to not listen to them, but they have been through life. Grandparents. Uh, older people have been through shit that we're going through, typically. So, listen to them. Listen, get some advice from them. I know sometimes you're like, ah, I don't want to listen to parents, but that's pretty much why they're always in your face. Like, hey, 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 because they're like, you're making the same damn mistake I made. Like, listen to me. But... All right. The last card, the card one pop out. So, <laughs> I would say don't lose your thought. That's that side is to be happy, to have that sun shining on you. Don't lose your happy side, your thoughtful side, your polite side. I I feel like your sweet side with all these sweets here, the sweets and the passion. Like be your passionate self be there. It's just, I think you just need to communicate and make sure you're on the same wavelength because the real problem is, I think you want this. You want, cause that's where the star is. You want that passionate relationship. Boom. But you don't want to just give it to anyone because you're tired of putting, you're tired of this. You're tired of putting a nail in your heart. So it's like either give me freedom or give me some damn passion. Give me some awesome love. Give me the love that I dream of. You know what I'm saying? All right, Gemini. So the main takeaway with that, I feel like y'all are like, wait, wait, wait. So the main takeaway of that is communication. Like, finding your balance of what you want in the relationship, what they want in the relationship. And if it doesn't match up, then get your freedom. Because you need to make yourself happy. You need to be happy with what you're doing. So, if you're not happy, you're not happy, you know? And you can find your happiness elsewhere. Okay, so. Let's see. Cancer. Cancer, 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 cancer. I like these cards today. Nope. Oh. Mmm, fortitude. I don't know if I've ever read that card. First time for ever saying, huh, Cancer? Alright. Hopefully y'all are doing good. Thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. Um you guys want to leave a like that would be awesome i forget to do that i get excited on comments i i reply to like all my comments so you know if you guys want to make my day a comment would be great um okay i feel like this is getting your shit together here with the fortitude like you got a bunch of hands, and you're like, you're smelling the rose. You're making some magic happen with this little ring here. Um, trying to figure out what you want. You got some you got some swords. You got, like, this trident. And you got this little, little cuddler here that's going to protect you. And I almost felt like that's a guide, but uh, that could be something else. But just like you're really, you're really staring at that ring, and you're like, damn it, I want a ring. And I... I, I, and I don't know if that's... I, I'm feeling more of a, a relationship than a... Or a commitment than a marriage, actually. I don't feel like you're... I don't really feel like you're pressuring anyone to marry you. It's just... You want something deep. You want something... You want something you can really sink your claws into, Cancer, you crap. <laughs> um, you want... Uh, 
You just want something real. You want you want someone to love. You want a heavy ass commitment. And you're like, I have all these pretty flowers to offer. Why the fuck am I not getting anyone? Like, I have. <laughs> it's like you got this like attitude here, and it's like, but that attitude is wilting your flowers. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. yeah. Just a random message here, like, that shit is kind of scary when a girl is just like, and a guy, and a guy, I'm not going to just straight up blame the girls, that, that's fucking rude of me, alright, so, and that is, it's scary when people do the whole, because uh, guys do it too, um, when they do the whole like, I'm such a good person, why can't I get anyone, and you know, like, that whole thing. Like, it's kind of like, um, are you, <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, well, you're kind of really mad right now. You might have some anger issues. Um, so try to, instead of wilting the roses, smell the roses, you know, offer them to somebody instead of being like, someone take my roses, you know, so, and then with the sage here, it's, to really, wait, I feel like this is saying, you have the help of guides here to create your magic, you can tap into it, really know what you want, and just go for it, oh, it's that card, yeah, it's time to evolve, it's time to look for something else, I feel like you're not getting what you want, because you're not asking for the right things, because, you got strong guides in this picture, so it's like, that's not good for you. Don't ask for that. That's why it's not coming into your life. You need to you need to try to look for the right thing. It's like, it's almost like someone is just like, mm, he's hot. I want some of that. And then it's like, he's a total jerk. And, you know, that could be, that could go both ways. I'm just, I'm just seeing a girl doing that to a, with a guy, and then the guy's a total jerk. I mean, it could be a hot girl, and she's a total jerk, too. Um, that, that could be whatever. But, um, but it's just, like, it's time to think differently, I, is what I'm feeling off of that. So, let's draw. That card wants to pop up. <laughs> yeah. Craving, obsession, compulsion. So I feel like that's just saying, like, you want it so bad, like, you're just biting your lips, like, mm -hmm. like, you just, you jump and say anything. Anyone who just gives you the time of day. And that is, like, like, you're hurting yourself there. You are hurting yourself there. Just jump in. Have a little patience. Don't just... Don't just um, jump into the bed of the first person who smiles at you. Don't jump into the bed of the first person who smiles at you. Yeah. Break your own rules with that. Like... I feel like with that, it's like... She looks blind there, and it's just like, that whole spiel I just had with the whole, you're looking just on looks, you're going to have to stop looking on looks. I That might actually be you. You're so busy looking on attraction, you're going to have to start looking on attraction in here, you know? So, like, dude, does this work? It's like... <laughs> it's almost like you just the first person who pays you attention who who's attractive to you you're just like mine and then you, you, anything bad you're just like whatever is mine um, <laughs> you know and that's it's really not good so break your own rules there because you're just like I need a man I need a woman like you just you, you jump right on it so break that rule break that rule of yours personal evidence, speak out, all that, uh, so with that, I think it's just, that 
is more of that whole message of taking your time, really observing. And she's kind of looking down, like really just looking to me. And it's just like, she's being more patient. She's observing. And she's not just biting into that because they're vampires. She's not just like biting into that and being like, that blood don't taste good. <laughs> so, um, yeah, take your time. Learn how to really just observe and see if it's really what you want before you jump into it. Because there are plenty of fish in the sea, and you're not going to find your fish if you're always just being stuck to something gross. All right. So, Leo is next. And this is going to be a long-ass video. All right, Leo, thank you for watching. Um, you know, you... You guys make my day whenever you guys comment and like and all that. So, you know, if you all want to make my day, you know, just saying. Um, I would reply to all of them. But uh, at least I try. I don't think I haven't. Anyway, whatever. Uh, three of Waters here. You're celebrating something here. You got your little piggy eyes. I right, sorry, you eat some bacon. Like, that's a celebration to me. I don't know if you eat bacon or not. But, um, with that, and a lot of growth, a lot of, I'm just hearing, like, you finally made the right choice. You feel like you finally made the right choice, you're just holding on to that cup, like, oh my god, like, what took me so long <laughs> is really what I'm getting off of that card. Like, nine of airs it's like releasing your fears because you've been scared for so long to make this choice that's what took you so long oh sorry i got one of your cards give me a sec the wheel okay yeah it's time to light up that darkness like you've had too much darkness in your light it's time to let that sun in. The sun is happiness and all that. It, you're, you're too pissed off. It's time to be happy again. You know what I'm saying? So that's why you let that mask off. You truly let out what you, your needs, your wants, your hopes. It's almost like you've been putting into someone else so much that you haven't really focused on yourself at all. And now that you're focusing on yourself, you're pissed and it's like you want to get here where you can be happy and just be like what was I thinking what was I doing what the hell like oopsie. yeah the seven of waters I'm gonna hold that up a second so you can see it um Everything's broken. And I'm just saying, and I don't know how to fix it. So it's like, this is, I feel like this is where you're heading. And like, this card is where you're heading. And this is the reason why you're heading there. Because it's like, it's time to just let go and just, ugh. Had a few. Do all of them want to be? Yeah. Okay, yeah. And see, you're in the chariot. You're in the chariot is moving on and moving forward. You're in the vehicle, but you're still waiting. Like you're just like, okay, I got my wings to fly. I see there's a little butterfly. It's like I've evolved. Are you and you're still like sitting there, like, are you going to? I'd really like it if you would, but sometimes people just don't fucking evolve, alright? Yeah, this seven of earth, it's like, ah, uh -uh, time was just up. It either is or it's up. Like, this feels like where you're heading or you headed there. Like, you're happier now or you're going to be happy because it's energy. It's where you're heading or some people are ahead, some people are behind, some people are here. Um, you just got here, you're about to get here, you know, you know what I'm saying. So, the clocks are melted here. It's like, uh, time's up, you know, time's up, and it's, 
There's a big elephant just moving forward there. It's time to move forward. Find some clocks that work. The mediator there. Yeah. <laughs> it's time to divide the assets. Like, here's what you want. Here's what I want. And, you know, we had a good run. Here's some champagne. <laughs> it's time. Yeah, it's time. Sorry, when I think mediator, I just think divorce. Like, I don't know. It could be you, uh, you, you could be ending this cycle of bullshit here, and they could be moving on with you, but you just need to make sure that whatever direction is, whatever, because people are on different tracks, are on different roads, different whatever, you know what I'm saying. So, whatever it is, you just need to make sure you're heading here where it's, where it's like that final release where it's like, oh, what took me so long to get here? So, they're either getting on here with you or you're moving on. Either way, you're moving past all this bullshit. And you know, I always read these as love relationships, but this could be a job. Like, this could be anything. You know, if it resonates, however this shit resonates with you is how it resonates. Oh, man. I love this card so much. Resurrection. That goes right up there. Resurrection. It's, you made your comeback. And it's like, now that the sun's shining on me, you see her face? She's like, try and take my happiness. Try it, bitch. You ain't got shit on me. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're good now. That's where you're, you either are or you're headed. Yeah. All those calls around is like, shit's dead. It's going to hurt. It's going to hurt to lay it to rest. Because for some of you, it's going to be an ending. Um, or it's just going to hurt to... And it feels like it's still going to try to drag you down. You just got to... You got to get here. You got to get here. You got to get in bad bitch mode. You know what I'm saying? And if you're a guy, you know what? Bad bitch mode is fun to say. So, you know, uh, isn't it? Isn't it? Like, don't you guys want to be a bad bitch? Being a bad bitch. All right. So, wait, that one was upside down. That's the one I'm going to take. Yeah. The past is the prison. Let go. <laughs> To get here, to get with these two, you got to let go. All right. Awesome. Hopefully that works out for you, Leo. It's time to let go. And I feel like this is kind of like you finally let go and you're like, what took so long? This is so much better. So, all right, Leo. Thank you for watching. Um, let's see. Virgo. Mm -hmm. Virgo. How you doing, Virgo? I appreciate everyone watching. If y'all want to leave a like, a comment, that would be greatly appreciated. I respond to all the comments. Uh, I don't have a lot of them, but it always gets makes my day. It makes my day when I get a comment or a like. So, if y'all want to make my day? <laughs> okay. Okay, we got the Hermit. I'm pretty sure that's your card. Um, so, God, I wish I had. Hold on. I'm trying to just double check with that because this one has the symbols on it. Um, and I'm pretty sure the Hermit is Virgo's card. Yeah. Okay, the Hermit is Virgo's card. Unless I'm mislooking at it. So, I'm kind of getting the feeling that it's more of you're healing, you're finally feeling like yourself here. Anything else? It's like, the hermit's usually going in and figuring stuff out, but it's like, so that's kind of like figuring out who you are. And just like, you sit here twirling your hair, like, who am I? Like, what is causing you to go through this? Have you just been putting too much into other people? Have... Is it just a bit? It's some sort of change. Like, what's going on here? What's going on? Oh, shit. Okay. You know what? Ugh. So many cards.
workshop. Did I get them all? Okay, we're gonna one at a time, please. <laughs> Fuck you, two at a time, huh? Excuse me. Who's got this sense of boredom here? It's like boredom. Like you have a lot of things around you. A lot of pretty things, a lot of shiny things. It's like, it feels like you should be happy, but you're just not. You, So, it's like you're sitting there, why am I not happy? I almost hear like I have the things that normally make people happy. Why am I not? And six of airs here, it's like, it's because you're weird and you're not letting yourself be weird. Like, I feel like you're... No, be normal. No, be normal. No, be normal. Um, let yourself be a weirdo. Let that out. Like, whatever your weird is. I just heard kinks when I said weird. Whatever your weird is, whatever your kink is. Like, I... I don't know if that's exactly what it is. For some of you, it could be, because I'm pretty sure Virgo is a kinky sign. Um, but, um, and I'm not trying to make you uncomfortable. I'm just saying from what I know about uh, astrology, because there are, uh, I'm not the most informed astrologer, but there are fun classes I went to, and sexual things are one of them. And Virgo is uh, one of the kinky signs from what I remember. So it might be that you just want to let your kinky side out. It's like, it's like no, there, there's good things in. It's just I'm not getting the wildness I want. But that, that could just apply to a different aspect as well. Like there, like however you're weird applies to you. And I'm not saying weird in a demeaning way by any means. Um, I consider myself not normal, like not the norm. But, you know, if you're a little weird, that just makes you interesting, and really. So let your weird out. Nymph, and we got the nymph of water. <laughs> Sorry, I'm being goofy here, but it's like you're holding back emotions here. Well, yeah, really, you are with the nymph of water and the jar of airs here with Aquarius, who is notorious for just like, here's my jar of emotions, and it's on my side, and it's sealed up. Um, like, no, I'm happy. Like, my emotions are over here. Let's be intellectual. <laughs> Time to let that shit out. What's going to make you happy? Let your weird out. All right. You want that? Ecstasy. You want some drugs? No, I'm just fine. But yield raptor. Rap. Raptor? Bliss. Here. Um. With those green butterflies, it's very green in here. So you need some healing or I'm just the heart chakra. So it's like, I, I feel like you need to feel it more. You need more passion. I'm sorry. I'm going to go back to love making. Like it, it kind of feels like that's where this is. Like I, my head keeps going there because of this. And um, hopefully that is resonating and I'm not just being a perv, but um, that's the messages that are coming in my head. So I'm going to stop apologizing and I'm going to go with it. Um, and hopefully it just goes with someone. So like you're wanting to let your freak out. And part of that freak is like, it's, uh, it's how you have a deeper bond with somebody because it's, what you actually want it's what pleases you and letting someone do that with you is gonna make you happy going deepen the connection and take that how it resonates because that 
I'm saying one thing, but that could actually mean something else for someone else, but, but, <laughs> thirsty, yeah, thirsty bitch, <laughs> yeah, you got the craving, obsession, like, let, it, let, you know what, it's, you know, when you're frustrated and you want to try shit, like, honestly, we're all a little pervy. We're all a little, like, uh, there's a lot of people that are like, yeah, I'll try it once. Like, let's see. So, I feel like you just need to fucking say it. it there's a feeling of, like, you're just too shy to say it because the girl was, like, curling her hair and stuff. With this, I'm really getting that watch. Like, it, it, there's a feeling of you don't want to be judged. Well, if they judge you, fuck them. There's plenty of kinky people out there. And take that how it resonates. I'm just rolling with the kinky thing. Yeah, because it's like, you feel like it's not classy here with the nobility thing. Like, that's not what princesses do. Well, you know what? <laughs> You'd be surprised. <laughs> um, I mean, kings are the one with multiple women, right? So, pretty much having orgies overnight. So, <laughs> oh, shit. Okay, this rating is getting out of hand. Um, dun, 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 dun. So, pretty much, I'm just getting... Okay, so... I don't know if that's exactly where it's heading, but that's where my mind went. If it's not, it's pretty much like letting your weird out. Whatever that means to you, you just need to communicate. I'm sure you're over analyzing it in your head. You're not going to be judged. You're not. If you are, fuck them. Really? Okay. Thank you guys for watching. Okay. Now we're moving on. To Libra. How my Libra's doing? Well, all right. We got the two waters. Um, you want to say like I appreciate any likes, comments, all that it makes my day. Um, I reply to all the comments. I always check them. I don't get a lot of them, but you know I always appreciate it when I get them. Um, so if you guys liked it and feel like leaving a comment, that'd be awesome. So. This two of waters. Like, the girl's pregnant here. Like, okay, I'm getting a couple things in here. It's like, you're pregnant, but you don't know who the daddy is. Um, but it could also, you're holding hands with this person with a mask on. So it's like, you love someone, but you don't know why. You... I'm just getting a few, so, like, take whatever message resonates, I guess. Um, but I'm just going to roll with the little things. It's like... Or even, like, intuitively, you know you love this person. It's swelling up inside you. It's not like a literal pregnancy. It's like a this is starting to develop. But you don't know why you love them. Um, you don't know what it is. And... Or it's like you love them and it's swelling up inside, but they don't know that you love them yet. Like you haven't made that clear to them. All right, so I think I'm done with that. We got the wheel, though. It's time to come out of the dark with this secret, though. That, this almost feels like a secret here with that mask. So, like, it, it's time to enlighten someone. It's time, whatever that secretive nature is in that. Uh, it's time to become enlightened or enlighten someone. Yeah, seven of earths. You can't just keep this secret. It, those clocks are broken. Time's up. It, it's time. It is time. Time am, uh, It's time to move forward. We got this little elephant in the background moving forward. Like... Time to spread the knowledge. Elephants remember shit like they. So I thought knowledge is time to spread the knowledge, spread the secret. 
Seven of air. I'm saying the same shit here. Like, let the mask fall. Let it be known. Let it be known. The Lion of Fire. So you could be dealing with the Leo here. But I'm kind of feeling like, especially with those sunflowers, it's kind of like uh, the, their court card, or not their court card, their major arcana came to mind. The, um, the strength and also the sun. They get two for some reason. Um, came to mind. And it's like, have the strength to find your happiness, to reveal the secret, because you're not happy keeping this inside anymore. All right, so let's draw some clarifiers here. Let's draw some clarifiers. I feel like I kind of wanted to figure out what your secret was, but it kind of just feels like, don't tell people what my secret is. It's a secret, so I don't get to know. Um... Yeah, it's time to be happy with those butterflies that are green. Like, it's time for healing energy. It's time to be happy. It's time to come out of your cocoon. It's time to come out of your shell. Knowledge. Study. You've been sitting here learning. You've been, and it's like you're looking. It's like, it's almost like you want to know what I know. Like, you want to read this book with me? You want to know the secrets? Like, it's time to get it off your chest. Like, I don't know what this is, but it, there's almost a guilty feeling in this reading. It's either guilty or, like, I just have to tell someone. Yeah. Trust here. Oh, my God. Broken trust. Did you break someone's trust? I mean, I guess shit happens. Like, I'm not going to judge you. Like... I'm sure you had a reason there was something that happened, but in the grand scheme of the grand grand scheme of things, there's a reason for it. But or they broke your trust, you poor thing. Um, I hate it when that shit happens. But uh, yeah, that card is very sad to me. There's broken trust somewhere on that, and it just makes me want to cry. I ugh. yeah. I feel like your your trust was broken somehow and you're keeping your feelings inside because with this one it's like MV punishment changing course it's like like you just want to punish the person who broke your trust here and that's not how you're going to get your happiness not that I feel like not saying you need to avoid that you need to change your course get away from the MV get away from all that let that shit die Time to move on. However that resonates with you. Secrets need to be revealed. And don't just punish someone. Alright? So, next we got Scorpio. That's closer to 20. Okay, starting to run low on it. How many more signs I got? Okay. Next, we got Scorpio. Okay, that card went in the pot. So we got the Seven of Waters. And the Two of Earths. So with these two cards here... There's a lot of sadness in here because everything's broken around this seven of waters here. And this two of earths is like you can't hold on forever. It's time to figure out what you want to let go of. And it almost just feels like you want to drop everything and just move on. Like it's just like fuck the ball, fuck the book, fuck it all. Like I'm not having any more fun. Like I know everything I need to know. Like, I'm done. It's broken. Goodbye. I'm, I'm really getting that feeling from that. It's like, you, you just need to go. Like, it, this just isn't right anymore. And we got the Ten of Airs here. Yeah. So, hey, it's just more, I mean, she's sitting on a pile of skulls. It's like, 
the butterflies are like, hey, you ready to fly? Like, let's do this. And you're just sitting there like, give me a second. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> and it's just like, it's it's time. Let's see. Yeah, and the reason why you're not getting off the the skulls yet and you're still holding on just slightly is because you don't know what to do. You feel like a stranger in a foreign land here. You don't know where to go. You don't know what to do. You're unsure um, of what you're doing, really. Yeah, you feel like a virgin. It feels like the first time. Yeah, and that kind of, that almost feels like You've been in some sort of commitment for so long that you don't know what it's like to not have it in your life. What, however that resonates. You've had something in your life for so long that it needs to get out of your life anymore or for now. It, it's like you're not having fun anymore. But it's like you just... You don't know where to go because you've this is what you've known for so long, man. What do, you, what do you do now, right? What do you do now? But there's just no appeal in it anymore. Yeah. You're just looking at that ring being like, what the fuck do I do now? It's like, but there's something behind you. There's confidence. It's like, you can move forward. You can do this. Two of airs. You just need to find someone who actually has your back, who's the moon to your sun, who your yin to your yang, who's got you. With this one earth, I feel like an offer's coming. It's it's kind of shy and slowly moving, but it's It's almost like it still needs to heal first because she looks a little too sad to really extend the offer all the way. That could be you. That could be something else. But I feel good about this offer. Let's see. So it feels like you'll be moving to a good place. You just need to find your balance. You need to find all that. Yeah. Boom. Bad bitch card. <laughs> Resurrection. Recovery. Come back. Like, you're going to find your... You're going to find yourself, and you ain't going to let anyone take that shit away. You're going to find your stability. You're going to find your... You're going to find out, you know? You're going to be a bad bitch. I just like saying that with that card. Like, you can be a male. I don't give a shit. Like, that's a fun... That's just a fun way of describing that. Bad bitch. I don't give a shit. <laughs> um... <laughs> The hunter card here. Aggressor, tractor, track, tractor. She thinks my tractor's sexy. Mm -hmm. um, provider. It's like... I'm just getting that, like, I look good, don't I? Like, um, it's like, you want some of this? You better provide for me and that doesn't necessarily mean um money that could just mean emotionally because there's a lot of debt in here there's like everything's broken it's like like you want to be a piece of this then you better provide for me make me happy so it's not necessarily buying me all the shiny things it's making my heart glow yeah because it's like i found this energy i and no one's taking it away so you better you better keep I you better not take the fuel away from me. Like you can be part of my energy, but you better not take it away. You better not be an energy vampire. You know what I'm saying? Alright. So you're finding your strength, Scorpio. It's gonna be a little bit of a rough road, but you're gonna get there and it's gonna be fine. Alright? So at least there's that. You're gonna be okay. Okay, so Sagittarius. 35. What's up with my Sagittarius? Well, we got that card. We got the line of fires. Maybe you're dealing with the Leo. Maybe you're just trying to find your strength and courage. Um, or just your happiness. 
because it looks a little sad in that card, and um, the core card of the lion is um, the sun, which is related to finding a balance, which, you know, the core card of Sagittarius is um, that one that's for balance. I, I, it slipped right out of my head as I was saying it. Um, so you might be trying to find your balance and finding your happiness right now. Um, God, I can see the card. But two of us, like, you're figuring out what you want to let go because shit's been too much of a burden on you lately. And Eight of Waters. You, you, um, it's almost strange to move on, but, <coughs> yeah. But this Six of Waters here, it's like, you're tired of being the nurturing one, and it's like, I need some damn nurturing. Because uh, with the male seahorse, typically, stereotypically, women are the nurturing ones. It's not to say men can't do it. It's just stereotypically, women are the ones known for being nurturing, and men are known for being providers. Stereotypically. Um, if you go on old gender roles. So it's like, you're tired of assholes, you want a provider, because male seahorses are the ones that actually take care of the kids and all that. Um, so, um, it's like, you need someone more nurturing, is basically what I'm getting off of that card. Yeah, it's time to let go of the past, move on, evolve. It, like, you want to move somewhere else, like... You're good. Like, these skulls aren't doing anything for you. They're kind of pointing to hurting your ass. Besides, you really want to offer someone this love. You got a lot of passion. You're a very loving person. It's just, you're like, this time I'm going to offer it to someone who deserves it. It's really what I'm getting off of that. Okay. to see. I'm being in that card a lot. There's so I'm guessing a lot of people need healing because there's a lot of that you, you need to feel loved and you need some healing and take some time because they're butterflies, they're little green butterflies, so take some time, wrap yourself in a cocoon and just take care of yourself for a minute. Yeah. Admit that you're fragile and take care of yourself. Call of the night, daring, adventure, excitement. Yeah, go on your own adventure. I, I'm getting a sense of, like, you need to do you for a little bit. Like, don't focus so much on relationships, which I don't think is so hard for Sagittarius. You guys are, uh, you guys are good. From what I've read, you guys are good at just having your independence and stuff. So it feels like... You know, take time for you. Do your own thing. Do your own independence. Don't let anyone take that away from you. And when you find someone who's worth this heart, offer it to them. All right. So, we got Capricorn next. So, day 30. Capricorn. What's going on? <coughs> Excuse me. What's going on with Capricorn? Hopefully all y'all are doing good. Like, it really makes my day when you guys like or comment on my video. So, if you liked it um, and want to leave a comment, that'd be awesome. Um, so, we got the Empress here. I just got a feeling that it's like, I can be a very nurturing person. I can be loving, but you gotta be worth it, damn it. Like, I just got that real, like, um, like someone's like, why don't you love me? It's like, well, I'm capable of it. It's just you ain't worth it. Kind of feeling, we got the Virgin of Earth here. So you could be dealing with a Virgo, or you could just, Sorry, I don't know a lot of Virgos, and I don't know if this is a typical trait, but I do know one, and can be very judgy, and then, 
and then they are afraid of judgment. They're like, they're so judgy, and then when someone even acts like they're judging, they get so defensive. So it's like, maybe that's why you're just incapable of loving. Like, you're you're putting on this front that you're just like, it's you, not me, but it's like you're actually like this soft, um, scared little person on the inside, and you're just like... You don't know how to come across. You don't know how to. You want to stand strong. and But you just don't know how to. Um, what am I trying to say here? You're scared that if you show your loving side to someone. That they're not going to reciprocate. And you're going to end up hurt. Is what that is. You don't want to be the only empress in this relationship. You need an emperor to your empress. Yeah, with this two of waters, it's like... It almost feels like in the past, like... You've offered your love to someone, you held their hand, and then they were just like, nah. So now it's just like you're... Still giving love to this mask of a person in the past, like you're... Like, that's where your heart is, and that's why you're not offering it to someone else right now. And it's like, you you got to let go. You really do. you got to let go of whatever you're still clinging to. Yeah. Because you're sad, so it's time to create something new with this eight of Earths. Six of airs here. Get creative. Like, that card just looks so creative to me for some reason. It's just... Or weird. Get creative and weird. Like, let... Like, she just looks happy with doing her own thing. Like... And it's just like, let someone in. Show them... Show them your weird side. Show them your... All your things. Judgment. I feel like that's just saying stop judging people and stop being afraid of judgment. Like, just do your thing and let people in. Just paint your picture and let someone be a part of that picture if you want. Because you want someone, you're just not letting people in. I feel like that card. Okay. Nobility. Your standards are too high. <laughs> it's probably because of this person in the past. And it's like you, uh, it's like after, it's like you, uh, after you heal, you didn't really heal from that. Like, this is my bad bitch card, but this time it just kind of looks like, um, it kind of looks, there's sadness in those eyes and it's just like. I'm not letting anyone in this time. I'm not going back to that sadness. It's a fear of being hurt again. Thoughtful, polite, good manners. It's like you're still sweet and thoughtful, but <clears throat> you don't let people in. And you need to be, I feel like your advice here is you need to be real. You need to be authentic. You need to be you need to you just need to be real. Like her eyes are even glazed over here. Like she's not really in the moment. Like you're so scared. Just be in the moment. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Like if you you want love so bad, yet you're so hung up on the past that you're not willing to give anyone a chance. Just be in the moment. Give it to someone else. Because past is over. All right. And you also need to work on healing yourself because you're not over the past. Okay. Aquarius. Oh, let's say there. Okay. Aquarius. Thank you guys for watching. You guys make my day whenever you like or leave a comment. So if you want to, if you like the video and you want to leave a comment or anything, like that's awesome. Uh, Hopefully everyone's doing good and I can get a good reading for you. Like, 
I want to mix the cards up a little more. Um, Y'all are like the 11th reading, so I should probably mix them up a little bit. I've been using the same deck for the whole thing, too, so. Going on with Aquarius. One at a time, please. Maybe two, but like, just not like a handful. Okay. That's all I got for. The unexpected is going on with Aquarius. <laughs> I just see that eye in that jar, so it's like you didn't think someone had their eye on you, or you didn't think someone something was gonna happen. You like a promotion, you didn't wasn't expecting it, like they ha were like, yeah, that person, or even a love interest. Well, the six of air, it's like, they're interested in your out-of-the-box thinking, I think, with that, because I keep calling it my weird card, like, a few other people have gotten this in this reading, but let your weird out, but the jar of air, be yourself. But, but also, like, Aquarius, every time I see this card, I just think of your, every sign has a flaw, so don't take this personally. It's just important for you guys to accept your flaws and maybe learn how to um, not let them control you so much. Like, with my sign, temper, huge one. Impatience, huge one. Well, you guys don't let your emotions out. <laughs> Which means you're very good at making decisions based in logic. Sometimes you base them in uh, emotions, but uh, and you don't realize it. But you don't really express your emotions, which can be detrimental. Detrimental. Um, so that's just me just being like, this could even be like, hey, let your emotions out, man. The unexpected could even be like you finally letting them out, expressing how you actually feel, and it's like unexpected how well it went. Because there's there's almost like an anxiety of like, um, yeah, I gotta let this in. I always gotta be rational. I gotta be up, and then you let them out, and it's like, wow, that conversation actually went very very well. Like, because you don't have emotional conversations, you have intellectual conversations. Yeah. Yeah, but this nine of earth here, it's like, I'm just hearing new growth. Like, you've been wanting new growth here for a while, and it's been making you sad, but you just haven't been expressing it. When this nymph of water, you need to get in touch with your emotions. Yeah, I'm really, you need to really express how you feel, how you are, who you are, and what you're feeling. <laughs> and that's going to help you reach this unexpected. And then with this twin of airs, that could be you dealing with a Gemini, but Gemini is an excellent communicator. They're known, I'm pretty sure they're known as the best communicator in the Zodiac. Or at least one of the best communicators. So that's pretty much to me being like, okay, communicating your emotions. You're going to communicate them and you're going to do a very good job. And this communication is going to go well. Like, you guys can even plan out how it goes. Because you're good at that too. Eight of Airs here. I feel like that's you holding on to the past here. Like you're wanting to, this communication is you wanting to talk about it because there's a jar with the, um, with the dinosaur in it. It's, I mean, that's interesting. And it could just be playing into that weird, but it's also like you're holding on to the past. And we got the star, which is another one of your cards. So let me just pick up my cards real quick. Dropped a few. Okay. So with that star, it's... You're letting out your hopes and dreams. You're letting out what you actually want. What you... How you're actually feeling. And... It actually makes you feel stronger to do that. 
which makes no sense to you because you always thought you would be strong by holding that in and being an intellectual. But actually letting them out makes you feel actually more powerful. It's what I'm getting there. It makes you feel more in tune with yourself. Like you can actually achieve what you want. Like you can manifest better when you act because the star can be a manifestation card too. Like you can actually get what you want better when you actually effectively communicate your emotions. Okay. Mm-hmm. What with? Man, I keep getting this for everyone. Everyone's going through a resurrection apparently. They're figuring their shit out. They're just they're feeling better. I feel like this is you feeling better about the situation after you effectively communicate your emotions. You're feeling stronger and almost just feels like there was like a lot of uh, like there can start to be happiness again is what I'm kind of feeling. You can feel confident again after this. Just don't be manipulative. Or don't fall for manipulation. I don't know which one really is that, but communicate effectively, but don't. I feel like sometimes Aquarius wants to put the blame on other people. You need to don't gaslight anyone. Don't. And, you know, you're not the only person who wants to put the blame on other people. Um, Everyone can do that from time to time. I shouldn't just say Aquarius. Um, But that's part of, like, not accepting your emotions, though. Not accepting how you feel. Not accepting this. Like, not accepting faults. So sometimes you're going to have to realize your fault in this and don't just manipulate the situation to make it all theirs. Because that's not going to bring you your actual happiness. You need to effectively communicate the truth. Yeah, with this enlightenment, you need to enlighten someone because they've been waiting for answers or you've been waiting for answers and the the conversation needs to be enlightening, not not um not downgrading. You know what I mean? Yeah. And with this card, it's like I'm just getting the sense that you're finally ready to do this. You're finally ready to have this conversation, to talk about this, because it's almost like you're tired of feeling it and not talking about it just intensifies you feeling it. Okay. Awesome. So just be, just be an effective communicator. It's going to make you uh, stronger. Awesome. So... Next, we got Pisces. Last but not least are my fishy people. My mermaids. Uh, you know. <laughs> okay. Sorry, guys. I'm starting to get tired. I've been doing this reading almost an hour and a half now. And this energy works. Exhausting. But um, I still got enough for you good for my Pisces. Okay. Yeah, I know I saw a card flip over. Okay. So, guys, I really appreciate the likes, the comments, all that stuff. It makes my day. So, if you guys like the video and want to leave a comment, that would be awesome. Um, too many cards. So, let's see what's going on with Pisces. Let's see what's going on with Pisces. Okay, that's the second time that card's flipped over. It must be part of it. You might be dealing with an Aquarius, or you might just be uh, trying to deal, trying to figure out what you want. I, 
she's sitting there like letting the stars come to her or you know now I'm thinking about the stars might be coming out of her head it's like you're trying to figure out your hopes and dreams you're trying to figure out what you want you're trying to manifest into a reality here what's in your head what you want in life the virgin of earth here it just feels like yeah there's a sense of you're you don't know what to do here and you're just trying to figure things out and with the one of water here it's almost like you're trying to protect yourself while also offering your love like it's a weird combination but it's You know, it's almost like this dragon. You know, honestly, I kind of feel like you're the dragon here. Like, someone's trying to protect themselves, and you're trying to get in, and you're like, hey, I got your heart. It's fine. Like, you're dealing with someone who's a little, who's a little, um, they're hurt, and they want to give you it, but because of hurt in the past, they're a little shy about offering it, and you're just like, it's okay. Take your time. I'll protect you. Like, you're very nurturing to this person. Yeah. Because with this fish of waters here, that's you. Um, you understand how they feel. You understand how they feel. You can be very empathetic to their situation. So it's just like, you'll take care of them. You're going to be very nurturing. You're there for them because, you know, you love them, is what I'm, I, there's a lot of love in this spread, and all you want is for them to heal, really, it's like making you sad that they're broken like this, um, yeah, it's like, with the ten of airs and the transformation here, it's like, you just can't wait for them to be able to let go of whatever they're wanting to let go of. And this might be part of you too. You need to let go of it. It's like where they just like burn off the past here, where they're not, where they're not just holding on to it anymore, where it's like they just brush it off. No more, no more. So let's see what we get with this. The calling of the night, daring, adventure, excitement. So it's like this, I'm just getting a sense of, like, you're actually excited to be in this relationship. Like, it's a little bit of work, but it's not, but it's exciting. It's not anything, with that moon coming out of the clouds there, it's almost like you, because the moon is a Pisces card, it's like you actually feel like you, you can be yourself in this, which is exciting enough. All the wild popped in my head. I don't even know why that would pop in my head, but um, I mean, this is the call of the night, but uh, what does this say? Maynad? So, madness, ecstatic, ritual, energy release. So, it's like with those leaves around, it's just time to heal. Kill each other, really. I feel like this is healing on both ends. It's a little protective. There's a little bit of wall in between, but it's time to heal each other. <laughs> love conquers all. Enduring loyalty, eternal love, lasting commitment. So I feel like there's a little bit of struggle here, but you have something that um, will last. You have something that... Um, that is actually very good for you. That is actually going to last, which is good for you, Pisces, because you're the sign that loves love. So I actually don't think I've ever had that card pop out, but just keep on loving and they'll get there. <laughs> Eternal youth and religion. So you're just getting a new new set of rules and a new energy. It's like they're different than anyone you've ever been with before. Like you're having to learn their code and it's you're adaptable so you can do it. It's just 
you're not used to them. But it's okay because you're happy to do it. It gives you an energy. It gives you vitality. It's it's it, it's good, and you don't mind doing it. It's someone you are willing to put in the effort for. So you're very happy to do it. So good for you, Pisces. It looks like you got a good reading. Um, thank you guys for watching. Um, I appreciate the likes, comments, subscribes, all that stuff. Um, have a great diet. Hopefully you enjoyed it.